and today we're making a leather tinder pouch. So this is the tinder pouch that we're about to make. This is a leather tinder pouch that I made a couple of years ago now on TA Outdoors. They're dead simple to make. The reason I'm making another video is because there's actually a simpler, a faster way of making it, which I'm gonna show you now. But before I do, it's probably worth explaining what a tinder pouch is. A tinder pouch is simply something that you put your tinder in. Tinder being natural material that you would normally use for fire lighting. Things such as dried grass, this stuff, birch bark, tree bark, any natural fire lighting material. You can make them to any size. I don't really like to go much bigger than this. This one is a 15 inch diameter tinder pouch. The one we're making today is gonna to be slightly smaller. It's very simple. It has a little toggle there, which can loosen and tighten the tinder bag. All you do to open it is just pull on the sides around the edge and it should open nice and easily so you can access your contents. Great fun to make, they're simple to make. All you need is an offcut of leather. You can make them out of other materials such as canvas, but leather's a bit more aesthetic. On your screen now, you will be seeing a picture of the tools that you need. Very simple, scissors, obviously your offcut of leather, a leather punch, but you can use a hole punch. It's just the leather punch is a lot simpler and easier to use. Some string, a tape measure, a toggle. In this case, I'm gonna use a red deer antler. Some string, and I didn't put it in this picture, but also a pencil or pen to mark out on the leather. So I have my piece of leather here. This is just calf leather, I believe. It's about, I'd say two mil thick, maybe, yeah, two mil pliable, pretty flexible stuff. It's in, I don't know, chocolate brown or something like that. I'm gonna mark out the circle of the size for the tinder pouch. Normally mine are about 15 inches in diameter, but I don't think I'm gonna get 15 inches out of this. No, it's quite a bit. So I'm actually gonna go right down to a small tinder pouch for this one and do a 12 inch diameter and I can see that that's going to go across at the narrowest point of this leather 12 inches should be fine so in order to get a circle and this is where I sort of made a mistake last time as I took ages drawing a diameter there is actually a much quicker way so I have here some just garden twine you can use any string that you want and I'm just going to measure half of that 12 inches which is obviously six inches maybe a little bit more maybe seven just to allow for tying knots got a screwdriver here going to tie just a simple slip knot. All I'm going to do actually with this side is just a, a double overhand knot. I just double checked that they do measure six inches at the point. It doesn't have to be exact, but that is six inches. Spread the leather out nice and thin. I'm drawing on the kind of suede side, the inside. It's going to pop the screwdriver in the middle. I'm not putting any too much pressure down. Just check that it's going to be able to swing. Keep it nice and straight. It only has to be rough. There's a bit of a dent there. It's just a rough gauge, trying to keep it all level. There we go. Fair scissors, to cut this circle out. What I need to do now is draw Mark out some dots about one inch down and one inch across from each other, all the way around the edge of this tinder pouch. Now, this is obviously set, if I ping this in the middle and that at the edge, about there, yeah. This is set at six inches, but I need to come an inch in. I'm just gonna wind my pen in a bit, like so. Hold the screwdriver. So I've just wound the pen in like that, just to bring it in an inch or so. And then all I'm gonna do just mark a dot like that every few inches every inch or so sorry it's not exact it doesn't have to be exact before i punch the right hole in i need to check that the cordage actually fits in here so it's a good idea to just go around and check that it fits so it fits it fits in the four mil hole Will it fit in a three and a half mil hole? No, it won't fit in that three and a half mil. So it's got to be a four mil punch in order for that to go through. In fact, I may go for a four and a half mil just because it might be a bit easier. I'm going to use the four and a half mil hole, but I've got to click it round just to get it level first. 
test it. At just one click, there's a hole. Come across, they're not exactly marked an inch, it doesn't have to be exact. One click, there's a hole, and it's really quite a speedy process. Being thin leather, just go round. Nice and easy, done the holes. All I need to do now is thread the cordage through. So I'm just gonna use one side, and I'm gonna go in, try and pull most of it through to begin with, because you're gonna to need to work, you're gonna to need to make this stretch all the way around. So you wanna sort of leave a couple of inches this side. And I'm just gonna weave in and out with this cordage, like a shoelace, very easy all the way through the edge of this tinder pouch. So as it's obviously fairly straightforward, so I'm going to time lapse this and then I'll show you the finishing touches. So we've made it out and they're both coming out of separate holes like that, which is what you want, because when you push your toggle down, it will pinch the tinder bag closed. However, what I do is I actually stamp a hole in between these last two holes here. You don't have to, but I personally like to do it because I feel it seals the tinder bag a little bit more when you close it up. So I just punch a hole there. And I actually just try and tuck them through. They're kind of a little bit closer to each other, these holes like that. So to give it some shape, when you do it up, I just ram a load of stuff in there, anything, towel, cloth, tins, just to help give it some shape when you pull it tight. Naturally, it will, it will gather this shape over time, but you wanna just do it to begin with, just so you can get an idea of how it's gonna to pull together. So I, I think that's okay. I think that's, that's certainly good enough, but that's basically the, the, the finished tinder pouch, and when you need to get in it, you just pull pull around different areas and there you go you've got access to whatever you want to put in there at this stage now when you pull it tight it naturally wants to open you can see there it naturally wants to creep open so we need to put a toggle in here just at the front there to help seal it and pinch it tight for my toggle what i'm using is a piece of antler you can use literally anything you want this is a piece of red deer antler i've drilled a hole in there oh jacks is barking so what I'm going to do is feed the two pieces of leather cord here. I need to feed both ends through here and then tie an overhand knot. So they're both through. Now I'm going to tie an overhand knot this side of the cordage to stop the toggle slipping off. Dead simple, keep them together, wrap them around each other, push both tag ends through, pull it tight like that. So really, it's the world's most simple knot, granny knot. And just, it's a stopper knot, it's acting as a stopper knot really. That stops that toggle now slipping off the end. Essentially, now that I've got that toggle here pinned in, I can pull it all tight, slip. I, I like to pull it tight first, like that, the tinder bag, and then use the toggle, slide it down, and that toggle just keeps it all tight, and you'll see that it just stops it undoing. I can pull it tight, let go, another bag stays shut. You can wrap that round. Sometimes if you leave enough tag end, you can wrap it round and put it back over the toggle. I haven't done it on this one, but I've done it on one of my previous ones. And you can decorate it with bits of cow bone on the end or anything that you want, really. That's it, though. That's how simple it is. It's really dead easy to make. You just need to get yourself a piece of leather, usually offcuts. If you look online, you can find offcuts of leather or speak to a local factory, maybe, or something like that. That's how to make a leather tinder pouch. Let's take a look at it. So here is an example of tinder pouches that I've made in the past. This is my main one that I use in all my videos. This is a couple of years old and you can see that the difference in this kind of new leather, this is the one I just made. It's obviously, it's, it's not shiny, it's not worn and cracked. Whereas if you look at the difference here, this one, much more worn, much more sort of stressed and it makes it a lot more flexible really. The leather's a lot softer where it's been used. There's the differences. There's one that's slightly different leather. It's kind of like that fake leather stuff there. And there's another different sized one there, slightly smaller. Again, I've added things to them. 
This one has a bit of cow bone, red deer, deer antler there. You can customize them as you want. This one is a small one, and again, off pieces of off cuts of pieces of leather, I've used as stoppers, like the toggles here. There's another bit of antler there, this is a toggle. But like I used that toggle there, you can just use the piece of leather to help cinch it down. It is a little bit more difficult to pull it back off afterwards though, but that's a slightly smaller scale one. So what I store in them, I mean, for example, this is just random things. I store random things in them. This one is all my cordage, all pieces of leather cordage, that scraps of leather cordage that I've collected or had off cuts of, mostly cordage, even some old shoelaces. One here, I keep all my pieces of flint and limpet shells for bow drills. So that's just where I keep those. I know where everything is in the shed. I know where everything is. It's not a mess, it seems a mess, but it's not, it's tidy. This one is kind of my cloths and rags, which I use with boiled linseed oil and things like that, just general linseed oil, some shoe polish <laughs> randomly, another oily rag that I use to just wipe down things, knives, things like that. This one had what exactly what I was putting in it earlier. This is my leather work one. So some mink oil, rag, there's some other leather items that I've taken out of it for now. But that's kind of my leather working tinder pouch. And this is my main bushcraft one, which you see in all the videos. And in here I just have actual tinder. So things like dried grass here, uh, a limpet shell, a tin, char tin with some char cloth. This comes on me wherever I go bushcrafting, I've always got this one on me in my bag. Uh, some birch bark rolled up with an elastic band holding it together. Amazing fire, fire lighting material, natural fire lighting material, highly resinous, holds a flame really well. And the pine pitch, this is again natural fire lighting material and glue, natural glue, primitive glue. This is pine pitch which I made from the resin from a pine tree. Sets like a rock once you uh, melt it down. You can add ash to it as well, which binds it a bit better, makes it a bit stronger. So that's my main tinder pouch, and that's really what a tinder pouch is for, is for tinder. But you can use them for anything, as you can see from my other ones here. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial on how to make your own leather tinder pouch. It's a great project. If you've got kids, get them out there, have a go. If you remember the scouts and you're teaching kids, get them out there, have a go at making a leather tinder pouch. It's an awesome project. It's fun for the family. It's fun for you guys out there in your sheds on a Sunday morning. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Shed Sunday. Hit that subscribe button, tick that bell notification, and I'll see you next Sunday.